Hello, Internet, so nice to see you. Let's say you are a songwriter or a composer and you have written a part of a song. You have this nice riff or this melody and chord progression and you are wondering how to get new ideas to complete your song and make a full song. The answer is actually pretty easy. The problem is that you are asking the wrong question. You are asking how do you get new ideas? If you keep thinking this way, it's going to be very hard for you to actually complete the song. I know this may sound like surprisingly harsh, but that's the way it is. You need to change the way you think about that, and then everything will become way easier, and completing a song, it becomes way, way easier than you expect. A student recently asked me that exact question, so I'm going to show you the answer I gave him with tricks and examples on how you get new ideas, but you are thinking about it in a completely different way than what you can imagine right now. Let's go. How do you come up with musical ideas without feeling too lost with all like music theory and everything? I'm gonna give you a paradoxical answer and I'm gonna qualify what I mean. You don't want to get more ideas. Uh, you want, you want to get more music from the same ideas, okay? So you want to get one idea and then you want to branch out these ideas that it creates new music, okay? Because if you keep putting new ideas into the music, the music doesn't sound good. So it sounds like it goes everywhere and, and nowhere, okay? All good music you know starts from a simple idea and then the idea gets branched out in a sense. So you, you create different variation of the same thing and then you repeat those things, playing first one, then the other, and so on and so forth. For instance, A power chord, C power chord, E power chord, and back. Great. Okay. That's the, this could be the main idea you have. How many ways you can find to play this? Well, you can change the rhythm. Okay. Or... Okay, or, or anything. Makes sense? You can change the inversion of those chords. Rather than playing the chords on the fifth string and the fourth string, you can play them on the fourth string and the third. Okay? Sounds pretty much the same, but it's a different position, so it sounds a bit different. Or you can go and play the very same thing on the top two strings. Okay, at this point, get a clean sound. It's still the same idea, okay? You can arpeggiate that. Okay. You know how Bennett is great at doing all these? Iron Maiden. They have the same chord progression for every song at the same speed. Okay. <laughs> it's secret. You guys ever been to an Iron Maiden concert? The first bar of every song is tss, 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 okay? At the same exact speed. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's great. Okay. And then the chord progression is always Okay. All of them, all of them, <laughs> or variation thereof, okay? The whole disc discography is built on one idea. It's genius, okay? That's consistency, <laughs> okay? Incredible ability in making variations of an idea. Some people compose symphony on one theme. Iron Maiden compose a whole career on one theme, okay? <laughs> people, people think, all the same, it's bad musicianship. No, it's absolutely, fantastically great musicianship. Few people can do that. Practically Iron Maiden, ACDC, and Ingrid Mountain. They can do, keep doing albums with practically the same idea, okay? And I mean, I say this with admiration, okay? <laughs> not, to, not to take it down. Back to us. Um, okay, you can arpeggio it. You can take the same idea and expand it on more octaves, okay? So that before you had just this, but you can have. of a stretch but okay or you can just change again the oops 
Okay, same idea, but I'm, I'm, I'm expanding and playing this octave, sorry, this octave and this octave and arpeggiating it. Makes sense? I can change the order of those chords. Now the idea goes a bit more far, further away. If you change too much the order, it will not be recognized as the same thing. Because if, because if on anything, if you take something and change it too much, you lose contact with the previous idea. But it's worth trying changing the order of the chords a bit. So rather than going... Uh, you do exactly the opposite. Okay, a few songs do that. They use one chord progression, one pro pro progression for the verse, and then the retrograde, so playing it in the opposite order for the chorus. Okay, some songs do another thing, and this is a trick that you find often in rock, in metal, and in pop. Strangely, in rock, in metal, and in pop. Okay, you have a chord progression of four chords. You play the chord progression as it is for the verse. When the chorus arrive, you split the chord progression in a half, take the, the chord three and four, and you play them before. So you just change the order of the chorus this way. So in your verse, you have, I don't know, A minor, F, C, G. Super common chord progression in pop, no? Right, let me get these sounds, probably a bit. Chorus. Now you start from C. It's the same chord progression. I just started from the third chord. Okay. This works. Uh, people do this all the time. All the time. With other chord progressions too. Okay. It's one of the most common tricks ever. Again, original chords, new chords. <laughs> okay. Make sense? So you don't come up with new ideas. Because every new idea is something completely new. No, no, the fact that you feel lost when you have those ideas and you feel lost is because the new idea has nothing to do with the previous ideas. Your brain already has problems reconnecting all those things. And when you put it in a song, it feels like you change song. <laughs> okay? There, there's whatever two musical ideas you can find a way to bridge between them but if you put them side by side sometimes it feels like you just change song and again if that's what uh, how you want it to feel that's great it can be done but if you do it every single song it's a problem instead take the ideas you already have and trying to milk them for everything they are worth when you do all that it pays to really know your fretboard inside out so that you can try all those new ideas instantly on your guitar. If you want to really get to know your fretboard and understand how chords and harmony and music in general work on this instrument, I recommend you check out my course, Complete Chord Mastery. Complete Chord Mastery, it's not a book. It's a complete video course that takes you from the basics up. We do everything you need to know about harmony and chords on your guitar. All the theory is done straight on the fretboard. There is no theory for the sake of theory here. Everything is immediately practical and everything is developed through exercises so you know how to apply these immediately on your guitar. If you have just a minute, click on the link on the top right to check out Complete Chord Mastery. If you like this video, smash on that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any comment, feedback, suggestions, write them down in the comment. I enjoy reading from you and I make videos on your suggestions. This is Tommaso Zilio of musictheoryforguitar.com and until next time, enjoy!